Well, good morning. Today is Thursday, July 18th, the shirt of the day. I speak in fluent movie quotes and sarcasm. I think that fits me to a T. It really does. It's very hot out here. It's so flipping hot. But I wanted, I'd like to have my flowers in the background. Maybe I'll sit over here, the different flowers. Let's go over here. Come on, let's go over here. There, we get more flowers. And then you can see my owl. You know, the owl really does keep the birds away from the, I don't know if you can see the owl. No, I guess you can't see the owl. Oh well, I have an owl hanging there. Uh, it does keep the birds away from pooping in my pool. They're scared of the owl, although it never moves. But anyway, today we have birthdays. But today is Michael's birthday. And right about now, I'm gonna show you a clip of what Michael looks like, because I have a picture of him. How silly of me. Of course I'd have a picture of Michael. <laughs> I have pictures of all my family. Well, that was a silly thing to say. Anyway, today is Michael's birthday. I can't be there with you, Michael. I did try to dye my hair green, but my hair is so gray it doesn't take to a dye. So if you can tell, that's green. Because I promised Michael when we went to Minnesota that I was going to dye my hair with him. Michael, I always tease, is a girly man. Michael likes to wear face, face masks, and he likes to get a nail, a pedicure, and a manicure, and he likes to dye his hair. He's strong in his manhood. He doesn't worry about things like that. But I miss seeing him. I really do. I see him every year about this time. I, I celebrate his birthday with him every year, and this year I can't. So that's why I dyed my hair, and uh, I have a special song for Michael. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michael. Michael Cody Manning. Happy birthday to you. Cha 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 cha. You're very special to me, Michael, and I know that you're getting stronger, and I know that you're going to get so strong that I'm going to be able to come and see you in the fall. You're get... Just for everybody's information, Michael's doing really well now. He well, not really well. Well, he's doing well. I guess he's doing really well because. Uh, his kidneys are back functioning, and his blood levels are coming up, and his pneumonia is clearing up a little bit. So he's on the mend, and that's thankfully because of all your prayers, and I so appreciate it. And uh, Michael does too. Michael's whole family does. We all do. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, we also have another birthday, Michelle. Michelle Mestro? I know I'm messing up your last name. Michelle gets a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michelle. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Um, I like when you guys sing cha-cha-cha along with me. <laughs> Makes it all that much more special. I love it because uh, Denise and I watch um, Nate and Jeremiah by design, and their little girl Poppy was singing Happy Birthday, and she ended it with cha-cha-cha. <laughs> made me feel so good. It really did. I, um, I know it's silly of me to sing, but I... Uh, Probably some of you that are new to my channel probably wonder why I do it. The reason I do it is because I had, one time somebody had said something about we were doing a birthday for my family and they had said how special that was that nobody ever sang to them on their birthday because they got older and it's just, you know, like it's past because, you know, you reach a certain age and birthdays aren't that special. <sighs> pasha, 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 I say. Birthdays are the most special day of the year. They really are because it's your birthday. It really is. So I just think that, you know, you just have to, oh, you know what, someone's in my house. I gotta go see who that is. Cause I'm outside, I wanna see who it is. I saw somebody walk by. I always leave my back door unlocked. I know, I know, I hear you. Don't do that Sandy, in this day and age you can't do that, blah, 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 I know that, but I always do. So during the day, not at night, but during the day. So um, let me go see who that is and I'll be right back. It was Jim, he forgot his lunch. <laughs> He works in a school nearby, so he just came home. You'd think he'd just stay here and eat his lunch. No, he picked up his lunch and went back because he's like to eat with his buds. So he went back to work. Um, but anyway, what was I saying? Oh, about your birthday. Your birthday is just really, really special. And I just couldn't stand the thought that somebody out there didn't have somebody singing to them on their birthday. When we were growing up, we were very poor. And I didn't know it at the time. My parents never let us know we were poor. But looking back, we were poor. <laughs> I realized that. But um, there wasn't a lot of money to spend on things. So my mother would make your day, not that she didn't make the other days of the year special, but your birthday was your day. It was your special day. And um, you got to pick the meal for the day. 
And no matter what it was, everybody had to eat it. Because my mother was one of those people, this is what I'm serving, this is what you're eating. You don't want to eat it? Fine. But you don't eat until the next meal. And we didn't eat until the next meal. So you ate whatever it was, even if you didn't like it. And uh, so you got to pick your own meal. Your day started like you were the queen for the day. Or if you're a boy, you were king for the day. And your siblings, and I had five of them, they were all younger than me, um, had to do whatever you said, within reason. I mean, they couldn't do anything illegal. I tried. <laughs> it didn't work. But anyway, so they would have to, like, you could be sitting in a chair and my glass of water could be just sitting right in here, right here next to me. And I would call for, like, my sister Sue, because I used to pick on my sister Sue the most, I think, because she was closest girl to my age. And I would wake her up out of a sound sleep, and she'd have to get up, and she'd have to come, and she'd say, what do you want? And I'd say, I'd like a, my glass of water there, and she'd have to pick it up and hand it to me. I know that's a little abusive, but that's just who my family is. We're just like we really are. Somebody in one of my comments said that they laugh with me and at me. Oh my God, you're a member of my family. Because <laughs> that's what we do. We laugh at each other. Because if you can't be laughed at, I mean, nobody wants to be humiliated laughed at. But you know, like if you're just laughing at somebody because they're being silly or being funny or something, that's fine. But I mean, not to laugh at somebody out of meanness, but just to laugh at somebody because of something silly that they did. That's fine. I, I've told... I think I told you the one story, the one time I know get off on a track. I got off track. I know I do that a lot. But on our anniversary, I had gone to uh, Greenfield Village for the 4th of July celebration because my anniversary is on July 2nd. And they were shooting the fireworks off in that. And I, Jim had got me a chair, like a recliner um, canvas chair that folds up. And I forgot it was. And when we were having cake, they were cutting the cake for our anniversary after they sang. And... Uh, I stepped out of my chair thinking that it was just a regular chair and I started walking towards the cake, not walking, I was probably running towards the cake. And uh, I got caught up in the chair and I went flying. I dragged the chair with me, I don't know how many steps, got wrapped up in the chair and went rolling. And my family, I've never seen them laugh so hard. And the people that were surrounding us, that were sitting around us, um, they just couldn't believe that my family was laughing. They come rushing over to see how I was doing because they were more concerned than my family in their opinion. But that's just who my family is, and I, and I love them for it. I really do, because we find humor in everything. And I think that my whole family has the same temperament that I do. I really do. I, maybe I'm wrong, but anyway. So anyway, your birthday was your special day. You didn't have to do any housework. So you could, you could relinquish your chores to whoever you wanted. So like in the days coming up to your birthday, people sucked up to you <laughs> because they didn't want to get your crappy chores because everybody took a turn having to do the bathroom, which is the worst, which is the worst chore. And my mother always planned it somehow that your birthday, because she wanted to make it really extra special. She always planned the rotation of the bathroom that it was the week of your birthday so that you didn't have to do it. <laughs> Someone else had to do it twice. I know. I abused the power. I'll be the first to tell you I abused the power because being the oldest, I realized how much power I had. And then when the young ones got, the younger ones, like Denise was 10 years younger than me, and I was 20 when she was 10. Go away, little girl. Go away, little girl. Go away, <laughs> because I'm not listening to you. I, though I did treat her special because it was her birthday. But anyway, so I'm back to my point of singing for you on your birthday. You are a special creature of God, and it's just a special, there's a special reason you're here. There was a 600 million to one chance that that sperm would meet with that egg and make you. There, that's better than a lottery. You know, like that's harder than a lottery, winning the lottery. So if in the whole universe of things, if you don't believe in God or anything, which I can't believe that anybody can't believe in God, but, you know, I do. I pray for the ones that don't. But I, I just really do believe that it's such a miracle, a miracle of nature, a miracle of God, 600 million to one that you're here, that you're sitting right here right now watching this video, or standing, or driving, or listening, or whatever. Just think of the odds of that. 600 million to one. And you deserve a song just for that mere fact alone. And I will continue to sing to you, and and I love every minute of it. I do love every minute of it, because I do. I love singing to you. And I love making your day all that much more special, because you need to have a special song, and you need to be acknowledged, and you need to know that, that there's no one else in the world like you. You're a 600 million to one shot, and there's not another one like you in the world, and you should live in that glory of all of that. But anyway, I know, preaching. Preach it, preach it. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to do that. But um, 
I'm going to stay on track. I'm following Joan over Joan's pointed plate. I'm going to change up my eating a little bit. I, I'm going to have, I didn't weigh myself this morning because I didn't want to jinx myself thinking because I had the dinner so late. Um, and I didn't tell you it wasn't even right. I mean, I just didn't even want to send it back. It was just, I ordered a honey seared chicken with white rice and I ended up, I got uh, orange glazed chicken with slices of orange over brown rice and the rice was overcooked. I ate every bit of it though. It couldn't have been that bad. It couldn't have been that bad because there wasn't that one little rice kernel left on my plate. And, uh, and then I had two fortune cookies. So I had it. Moving on. Going to be better today. Um, I was thinking of doing um, something a little bit different. I do my Sunday shout outs, which I love doing. And I love that Christy over at Planning is Healthy did hers. Go over to her channel um, and subscribe to her. I'm going to put a link down below to her shout out video. She shouted out someone that uh, she watches that doesn't have a lot of viewers. And that's what I love about this, this community is because you can shout out for people and help build up their communities because there's a lot of people that I shout out that have surpassed me in viewership. You know, they got more viewers than me and, and I love that fact. I just love that fact. And it really gives me, I know it's going to sound conceited on my part and I don't mean it to sound conceited, but I love when I'm watching the channels that I recommended and I see that people that follow me have made comments on their channel too because it makes me feel like, you know what, I did give you a good recommendation that I didn't just like steer you astray and that you do like the channel. And I just think that in this community, that's what you need to do. There are haters out there, I know that. You know, there, there's always going to be haters in life, but you just move on. You know, if, if that's the way they want to live their life, they're miserable. They have to be miserable because I just find such joy in it. But anyway, I'm going to do like Joan's pointed plate. Joan had po pointed out to me that uh, she um, uh, told me I should switch up my eating, and that's what I'm going to do. But getting back to my new plan, I don't know if I want to do it once or twice a week, but I know I definitely want to do it at least once a week. There are so many people out there that don't have a channel, and they're doing so great on their weight loss, and they just don't have anybody to acknowledge. When I go to a meeting, they acknowledge everybody, like if you've reached the 10-pound or the 5-pound, the stickers, they give you the stickers and all of that. Um, so I was just wondering if, if somebody would be interested in doing it, whether you have a channel or you don't have a channel, um, send me a picture of yourself, a before and after picture. Um, you don't have to tell me how much you weigh. You can tell me how much you lost. You can just tell me how you feel. Um, and, and I'll share it with everybody and share your victories because I think in this community we need to share our victories because we there's so many of us out there that are doing so well and nobody's acknowledging it. It's like your birthday. It's like nobody sings to you on your birthday. That's sad. You've accomplished quite a bit. Um, I can't think of what her first name is. Bedgood is her last name. Wish I could remember her first name. I think it's Debbie Bedgood. I'm going to check and make sure. Okay, I checked. It's not Debbie. Kim is saying, it's Kim! It's Kim! It's not Debbie, it's Kim! <laughs> no, she's not yelling at me. She should be. Her name is Kim. Kim Bedgood. But she's lost over 100 pounds, so it was like... Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe that. And you know, a lot of times I hate to mention just certain people's names because then I think that people might be slighted that I didn't remember to mention you. But no, no in my heart. I, I, I think about you all. I pray for you every day in my morning prayers. I just do a general pray for all my YouTube people. And then I have certain people that, uh, Vicki, that I just pray for extra special hard because they just need extra special prayers. But you know, like in general, I pray for everybody because prayers really do work. Michael is a good um, example of that. My Uncle Bob is a good example. Cindy's doing better. That's another good example. So, um, okay, I've babbled on way too long. I, I try not to make my videos too long, but I've noticed they're getting longer and longer, and I, I'm sorry for that. I really am, but uh, I just feel like we're having a little chat. I should have brought my cup of tea out. We could have had tea and coffee together. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Well, I did forget to tell you where to send your pictures to. Um, I guess the one, the Gmail account, I have people saying that they're having a hard time sending me an email. So try sending it, if you can't get it to the email account that I have in the description box below, um, try S-C-A, all small letters, lowercase, S-C-A-R-R-I-C-O-09 at A-T-T dot net. And send me your before and after pictures and I'll share them with everybody. Okay, let's see. I tried to do a tuna wrap with a lettuce. It wasn't very successful. <coughs> Excuse me, I tried to hold it together with a toothpick, but that's not going to work. So I'll probably just eat it with a fork. 
but I have the cottage cheese and pineapple and some pretzel crisps. I have my tea and of course my water. I started my day with a prayer. I drank 50 ounces of water. My quote is, I got two quotes today. One was from Dolly Willer. Um, you don't fail if you don't quit. Such a true statement. And also from Dish with D, Denise gave me this quote, your speed doesn't matter, forward is forward. <laughs> That's true, whether I'm going slow or not, I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, it's zero for my tuna fish, my celery that's in the tuna, my lettuce that I wrapped it with. Um, I oh, forgot my banana. I always gotta have a banana. My pineapple, my egg, and my tea and water. One point for a tablespoon of Miracle Whip, three points for a half a cup of cottage cheese, and three points for my 11 pretzel thins. I weighed them out, it's 28 grams. Seven points. Um, that's a little bit different than I normally eat for breakfast. And I'm eating a little bit earlier, 123. So, let's go eat, because I'm hungry. Well, I just got out of the pool. It was so refreshing. I was all by myself. Denise is busy doing stuff, so she couldn't come. Um, I just relaxed. I was actually, I had to change my shirt because I did a little bit of weeding. It's very hot out there. I really shouldn't have done any weeding, but I have a plan and I do a little section each day. So I, I'm not just like overwhelmed with weeding. And then I watered my plants and um, I was like drenching. I was so wet. I was so hot because of the humidity. But now I'm in the house and I'm going to have some water and I'm going to have a jello sugar-free pudding this way vanilla. To me, it tastes like uh, vanilla frosting. I love it. And I'm going to have, I know this is an odd combo, um, quarter cup of nuts. Quarter cup of nuts of almonds. Because Carrie over at Weight Watchers with Carrie said almonds are good for you. They're high in protein. So that's what I'm going to have. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well, not in a bit. I'm going with Denise to a gardening thing tonight. I have no interest in it, but I'm going with her. I'll let you know how it is. Okay, I'm going to have breakfast for dinner. It's a seven-point dinner. Zero for my egg berries, my diet cranberry juice. Three points for my Cheerios. Three points for a half of a Linder's Plain Bagel. And one point for a Laughing Cow Cheese. Seven points. I still have three points. I'm going to carry over. Another too big shirt. I know, but it's comfortable. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I was skimming through my comments because I was just getting ready to answer them and I noticed that there's another birthday. I think her name is Inez, I-N-E-S, Inez, Ines, Inez, Terrence. It's your birthday and you didn't tell me because I even looked to see if maybe it was from last year and it didn't carry over. I don't even have you down for last year. But she just commented on Michael's birthday and she said it was her birthday too. So guess what? You get a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Inez. I hope I said your name right. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Okay, I had my dinner already. That was very... I'm switching it up. I'm telling you, I'm switching it up. I um, went with Denise because Denise wanted to go to this other town that's not too far from... Well, it's not really close, but it's not that far from us. But she didn't want to travel because it was at night. And... Uh, and I wasn't interested in the program. She was learning about uh, butterfly gardens. Peggy, over at Color Me Influence, I told her all about your butterflies and that. She said she couldn't do that because she can't touch the cocoon because she's like creepy that way. She said that's creepy. She can't do it. And she's definitely afraid of bugs. She's just not a bug person. <laughs> so she said, she looked into it and she said no. But uh, I told her to watch your video because Peggy's got butterflies now in her little net. But anyway, um, you know what? Maybe I'll put a I'll look for her link and I'll put I'll put a link to her channel too, so you can see her butterflies. They're just gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. But uh, anyway, so I I uh, brought my iPad because I was going to sit in the library and just watch some YouTube videos, and I caught up on my videos. And then I get home and I notice that there's some more that posted, so I got to still watch those tonight. But I'll watch those. Um, and she went to her meeting or whatever to find out about it. I really wasn't interested, and in, especially when I found out there was a five dollar charge. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't want to spend five dollars to listen about something that I can get from you for free because <laughs> I'll just find out from Denise. So I was watching my videos and it really made me aware of how fortunate I am in life because um, it's this particular library uh, for that particular city is the the heat place or the cooling place depending on the time of year for the homeless and um, there were a lot of homeless people in there 
and they were, you know, reading magazines and books and, you know, going on the computers and things like that. But um, it just really made me appreciate everything I have. You know, like I complain about my weight and I complain about that, but you know what? Obviously, I haven't missed too many meals and uh, I have a roof over my head and it just made me appreciate my home even more. And it's just it's sad. <clears throat> sad to think that they don't have anywhere to go. And I don't know. But anyway, I know that's a kind of a downer. <laughs> but, they, you know, it was just... Um, and the, the library was too cold. It really was too cold. I was watching Sue Slims Down when I was in there, and she was saying about how she's... Um, now that she's losing weight, she's she doesn't get as hot. No, I don't get as hot either. I just... And uh, Jim and I kind of argue a little bit over the thermostat on the air conditioner because when we were both overweight, we liked it really cold. But now I'm not that much overweight and uh, I don't like it that cold. And so, as I always told my kids in the winter when they would complain about it being cold, you know, you got a blanket. So you see my blanket. I keep my blanket because I sometimes wrap up in my blanket because... Uh, now, our thermostat is set at, um, I don't think our thermostat works right, to tell you the truth, because I have it set at um, 73, and I'm cold. I'm really cold. And in the winter, I keep our thermostat at 68. I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. But Okay, enough babbling. I think this is a long video. I said at the beginning I was going to try to do shorter ones, and I bet you this is a long one. So give this video a like, leave a comment subscribe and share.